different devices for air absorption. For making air analysis for carbon dioxide or other chemicals, we could use different devices. We could use filters like this construction. It's opening and the inside we put in filters. The size of pores depends what we want to absorb. As usual, it's for different solid particles. It's connecting to the electroaspirator to the electro aspirator and you see the different uh, indices, different values, depends what we need to absorb or carbon dioxide or some chemicals, we will determine the speed of absorption. Then we could use, uh, this, uh, except the filters, we could use such special glass constructions which we filled with silicon for example or other solid absorption medium and absorb for solid mediums and also we have construction for liquid mediums different ones you have the pictures in your book you could watch they also using the pipe connecting with electro aspirator and absorbing the air so using this all constructions all these devices we're not determining yet we're just absorbing the air these materials we use to absorb the air and then we need to do further determination of concentration of chemicals using special chromatographs. All the absorbed mediums we analyze using chromatographs. Gas chromatog chromatographs and liquid chromatographs. We put in inside the samples and then given the results with concentration of those chemicals which we want to determine. Those previous one it was liquid chromatograph. Here is the gas chromatograph. The same we put in our samples inside, making analysis and the device showing us the result in form of the picture diagram with the highest peak concentration of those chemicals which we want to determine. All previous method, it was laboratory method, requires time for sampling, for analysis, but also we have express methods. For example, we use gas analyzer device, which contain inside the sack with the ear pipe, to which we connect special indicators. These um, glass pipes contain inside indicators. You see, it's no color. We cut in the edges, opening it, connecting to by uh, gum pipe with the device absorbing the air compressing we're making compression the suck inside here the air pushed out then we slowly very slowly taking it back absorbing the air through the indicator and if those chemicals which we want to find is present in the ear, indicator will change its color and we have special scales. They have to be an instruction for gas analyzer or for indicators and this color scale showing us the concentration of chemicals depends on the color intensity. As you see we have a lot of different different indicators different colors and they are signed or marked by lines depends on color which we need.